Hello everyone. My name is Erica Griffin, the Public and Community Engagement Manager at Chicago History Museum. I would like to thank all of you for listening in and for participating in our very first virtual program, reflecting on the history and the impact of the Declaration of Independence, one of those founding documents that has shaped the way that our society operates, the ways in which people are able to access civil liberties, the ways that we interact with each other. This feels part of our mission to share Chicago stories. So far, we've heard from civic leaders and activists on how they use their various platforms toward that end, toward inclusion, toward equity. But now I would like to turn our attention to an outstanding group of teen artists to get their perspectives on what they would like to see in the future for Chicago, how they're using their voices, their skills, their art toward that future when they are the civic leaders when they are helping to frame how people access, how people move through the city. I'm passing that virtual mic over to them and the floor is theirs. Thank you. <laughs> now, whenever someone speaks dirt on my city's name, a rose grows in the space the Wells Projects left behind. It, like every other housing project turned vacant lot, is now a national monument. Shorties prayed for their projects to be put back in place, and God woke up and realized the nightmares were real, sent angels down to love the city back to life. God said, let the heat from mama's mouth be the only black hole calling my darker children home. Said, let the mother's tears water their sons into alive and alive again here. We brown things don't know what it means to be interrupted in the middle of living. How rude. We live until the wrinkles become us. Don't forget, Chicago be a mother too. And now she gets to finish raising all of us, including Laquan and Rakia. And here, the whole city knows how to carry both their names, knows how to celebrate a young black thing while it is still here. And yeah, Rakia is still alive. And here, Dante Servant's records still can't be expunged. The great city of Chicago laughs at his attempts. We spit on men who don't know how to love us. Chicago knows what it means to have done nothing and still be met with rocks thrown at her doorsteps. So she turned herself into a safe space for us, made sure us peaceful protesters have peaceful homes to go back to. Don't gotta go fund me because the city hugs us all safe knows how to love us brown girls because we like her. Here, police know not to try it. Know if they do, this time we'll abolish them. And it's good here. Ain't had to worry about a meal or a bus ride to school or a police in a school since Chicago started loving us back. is for my people. Whenever I perform a poem, my people praise it in hallelujahs, amens, and tongue talk. Put me on a pedestal. Say with this pedestal, I best use it for good storytelling and to die for performances. I only know how to use this stage to resurrect the grandmother I never met and dance with her hands and minds from before these poems had the chance to suck the cancer out. Use this stage for poems that empty churches and to open mics so they may see it is the same thing. Have people find God in these poems. This stage be a pit of fire and I a stick of sage. Poems be an ancestral hotline. Whenever I perform, it is a call to update them on how the movement is going in hopes to give them something to be proud of. Write poems to be proud of. Poems that can drain the lakes of dead bodies and wash the blood off of rocks. Poems be a life raft that floats down a southern river and that might break the whole Chicago back into a small Mississippi backyard.
Chicago's future. Chicago's future is going to be promising. I envision a future in which everyone, and I mean everyone, has the right to freedom. I envision a future in which everyone, and I mean everyone, has the right to follow their own pursuit of happiness. I envision a future in which children, no matter race or ethnicity, no matter skin color, are not afraid to go outside and play. They're not afraid to go outside and get harmed by anyone else. I envision a future in which little kids, families, anyone is not afraid to have food, not have food on their table. Food deserts. I envision a, a future in which Chicago is not raided by food deserts, especially in marginalized communities. I envision a future in which everyone has a space to amplify their voices, a space in which they can voice their thoughts. I envision a future in which Chicago represents diversity. Get your people, man. Y'all hear me? Get y'all people, man. Gladiate, get your people, straight up. Get your people, all right? scream would they make a sound as metal rips into flesh if you were to peel back the layers of my skin scoop my insides out with a spoon plop them into a bucket carve the physicality of me out of its nooks you will find a confused spirit trying to piece together the world around it unsure on why this vessel is under attack and why I'm wearing bullet shells in places snap back colors be under attack this melanin has no room for shotgun shells graveyards have become a tour of this country mapping out which black body will fall next which name is gonna be hashtag next for Landro Sandra, Trayvon, Eric, Laquan, your hatred has made its way into our backyards. I'm tired of yelling to the skies for you to respect our humanity. As if these black and brown fingers didn't build this country from the ground up, we have built shrines to those we have lost. When bullets seem to know our names better than we do. Turn your face towards the sun. Let the shadows fall behind you. Strong black chains lock, tied down the roots of my heritage. Use the cone to break the bondages my roots hide. Beauty is now beast on these streets. Black roads grew from white concrete. Black lives matter. Black boy beating for embracing black body. The memories beaten. The pain from embracing black body, but I cannot hide my skin. My people suffer, we suffer. I suffer from the stereotypes, the statistics, the stereotypes caused by your statistics, but my skin is not your statistic. I'm tired of saying what my race matters. Tired of mourning the losses, tired of writing poems that could have very well been written about me. We are tired. They killing us cause they think we killing us don't make no sense. In Flint they give them dirty water and expect them to rinse. They destroy land in Africa and they ain't look back since. So many problems and we blame Trump and Mike Pence. But it's worse out here. They condone blaming a girl when I skirt out here. We don't know no better so we draw forms and skirt out here. They get mad cause we talk about how we got it out the dirt down here. Try to read a false book so drop out and work around yeah. His mama's that gotta deal with death might make me shed a tear. Only think he's tough cause his badge represent a higher tier. Take a body, go to court and came there was a fear. As they say blackness is a weapon. 
So maybe we should make it disappear like magic, but they ain't like him either. Or maybe we should be stuntmen like Evil Knievel. But to live black, you already define death. I wonder when you walking up to heaven is done missing steps. Or fight for your life and wonder if you gonna take another breath. Trying to breathe in and out, but ain't no way out. Either end up in a system or get blessed with clout. But that don't last long. This country support white boys that play beer pong. <laughs> I know that that's a good one, but I'm serious. So much anger boiled up, it got me furious. Trying to figure out what's next like I'm living in a series. Every time I wake up, I see a black man gone. It's stuck in my head on repeat like my favorite song. Try to change the hearts. We in the same country, but we just ride along. We on the doorstep to victory. We just can't quite hit a ding dong. <laughs> I think they unscrewed the bell. They'd rather see a black man in jail than building a dale. So we spit bars in hopes of breaking out of these cells. Trying to take a sip, but y'all poison the well. They poison the education and poison our motivation. Never taught him how to take his family on vacation. But I guess he learned to roll and pass it on rotation. We in a circle killing black bodies and then rotating. The finish line ahead, so we racing. It's generational trauma, so the world is what they facing. When it's all said and done, don't apologize. They took Martin out because his words was too wise. They took Malcolm out, but I guess it's no surprise. Then they got Fred, no remorse, right in front of his wife. Now if I didn't paint the picture, maybe you should reconsider life. Since to live black, it's like fighting against a knife. Or with a knee to your neck, or a gun to your head, or take off that do-rag instead. It's red on the ground, but they only honor the red on the flag. Cause when we bleed, it's a joke, but when you hurt it, everybody mad.